Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to 75 Days of Shift. This is Krista Karate, Velocity Business Strategist, and we are on day 67. How cool is that? I cannot believe that we've, uh, we've been doing this for 67 days. And today I wanted to talk about being productive versus being active. And, you know, this has come to light in a couple of other videos that I've done. You know, I know in the past I have been guilty of this is that I am busy, but I'm not really being productive. So today I want to touch on some ways to actually help you be more productive versus just active or busy. You know, it's one thing to put things on your calendar and say you're going to do them and then shuffle the papers around on your desk and never actually get anything done, um, never actually get anything accomplished. So, you know, one of the biggest struggles that I have seen clients do and that I know I have done in the past is neglecting to make the sizes or the pieces of something that I'm doing small enough, right? So let's take, like I'm writing a book. Let's take writing a book, for instance, right? Writing a book is, for most people, a large daunting task, right? Yet, if you break it down and you say, you know what, here's what it's about. Here's some topics. Here's, you know, make some smaller chunk sizes, if you will. That really helps you break that down. You know, think about cleaning your house or cleaning out your closet, you know, those big daunting tasks that if you actually said, hey, let's make this smaller, let's go through our socks today, right? Let's go through our t-shirts, you know? I right now, I'll be 100% honest with you, I have an overabundance of t-shirts in my closet and it's time for me to go through them and say, you know what, which ones are really, you know what, love them and let them go. So. You know, what are those things in your business that you can do that will help you be more productive and not just active, not just sitting at your desk, scrolling through emails or looking for ideas? What can you do to actually implement some of those ideas? What are some actions that you can take? As I mentioned a couple of days ago in a video, what's some activity that you can do with intention, right? So one of the things that I'm working on over the next week is really getting the final outline for my book done. So one of the things that's been helping me with that is doing these videos. So like many of these videos, like a lot of the things that we do in our businesses, they are all intertwined. If you work on one, you're going to end up working on another as well. So what are those items? I would love to hear a comment, love to, for you guys to post a comment. Let me know what are those items that you are doing that are being productive? What are those items in your operation side of things, in your marketing side of things that are really helping move your business forward? Drop a comment. Let me know, shoot me a text, send me a message, send me an email. I'd love to hear from you and look for some more insights between now and the end of 2020. I look forward to helping you accelerate success in 2021. Take care. This was Krista Karate, Velocity Business Strategist, Accelerating Success. Thanks for joining me.